Traditional sweet recipes from Malta Volume 2 soon available at www.traditionalmaltysweets.com Traditional sweet recipes, creating a small size of Malta that feels like home. Merhaba Lura fil program. Sera Buzottil hija violinista mill-laqwa li flimkien ma zewġa Silas Palmer u kopja uħra jifurmaw il-grupp The Royal Hijinks. Marka Vellino b'din l-intervista. Silas and I, we, we met each other at a folk festival and uh, we sort of got talking we were saying, oh yeah, we, we love the festival scene and, and the, the colours and the beauty and the... The, the magic of music festivals. So, so we, we wanted to create music that, that appealed to our festival audience. And um, so hijinks means celebration and a um, little bit cheeky at times, because that's kind of who we are. <laughs> a little yeah, bit. It's, it's like a party. <laughs> it really. is, it's a party. Yeah. And we like um, to bring that. But Royal is kind of that sophistication. So the glamorous outfits, the spectacle. Yeah. And I guess the refinement we can because we 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 both sort of I guess went to music school and and you know tried to really refine our craft um, in terms of our our playing and and also our stage performance as well. So we created um, yeah this wonderful uh, party um, called the Royal Hijinks, which is all our original music and and we're so it's, it's a bit of a love story because we found each other through music. So that's one half of the love story, yeah. and then we found our, our other half of the love story, which is Jen, Jen Hawley and Terry Cole, who are the other half of the Royal Hijinks. And um, yeah, we, we just created a, a beautiful bond. We'd, we'd known them for a while, so, um, so it's two couples, I guess, and yeah. that's right. So it's all, it's all about love, like it is in Malta. <laughs> you know? yeah, I love it. Family, you know, that's yeah. what it is for us. It's, you know, family, love, family, friends, you know, good food, good wine, enjoying life together. That's pretty much our message in our music. Yeah. So, you know, I know that you do do a fair few festivals and um, judging from what I've had a look at online and, and everything, uh, there is that real energy of feeding off the crowd. And um, so, you know, with the style of music that you've got, how do you think that that lends itself to it? So, you know, describe your style of music for our audience. Sure. Well, I guess you could call it contemporary world music with a little bit of a twist um, because we, we do, you know, from, from an early age, both Silas and I in our families grew up with music in the family and it, it was all about, you know, singing and dancing and laughing together and just enjoying life together. And I think that that's really, that's the part that we love to bring to our our, our, our audience we, we go on this beautiful journey together so we'll, we'll sing something and hopefully people will sing back to us and we'll all sing together and clap together and yeah, dance one of, together one of our good friends on seeing us for the first time described us as the Balkan ABBA <laughs> yes <laughs> the Balkan ABBA cool. we like to say we're the Melbourne ABBA yeah, <laughs> two couples <laughs> you know, two girls two guys <laughs> yeah. you got the moves you got the looks you got the tunes <laughs> that's it yeah. and Silas I mean, Silas plays the drums the keys with his, you know, his key bass with his left hand right hand piano so he, he's kind of the engine room of the whole thing he writes the tunes with, so you're, with like, us. you're the Benny and Bjorn in one then. he is yeah, yeah exactly exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. So us three we all have like the easiest time on stage no, you? no. <laughs> you're out doing the hot dance moves we, we, we like to get out in the crowd and all, you yeah. know because we're all you know we all like to enjoy life together so we get out there so yeah it sounds like it's a lot of fun and, and obviously like you know we, with an instrument like the violin which has that association to very serious and that kind of thing so to, to be able to sort of um, take those influences of that uh, world music Balkan style of music um, did you ever imagine when you were training that that was the direction you'd go musically yeah well um, when I was 15 I had the opportunity I went to the Victorian College of the Arts secondary school and um, my friend was in a klezmer trio um, and um, that's how I became in, into a klezmer trio. So I got to meet someone, a fantastic violinist, Ernie Gruner, who, who my, we all perform on the same scene with these days and, um, you know, gave us some klezmer ch tips. And then I played another band called the Counterfeit Gypsies. And from there, I just grew a love for world music. Um, but I also, there, there's, there's also the classical element which comes. And I, I always believe that, you know, that classical element is the foundation and that's what I sort of teach 
because I, yeah, I'm a conductor for Melbourne Youth Orchestra as well. So um, that's what what we sort of try to bestow upon our the next generation. And um, but we also actually next week we've got a concert where Silas is actually coming on board with us because we've arranged one of our Royal Hijinks tunes. Um, House of Smashed Avocado. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole it. other story for Avocado. that. Yes, <laughs> um, for, for, for the whole string orchestra at, at Melbourne Youth Orchestra, we'll be performing the debut performance of it next week. So, um, yeah, it's um, it's great to be able to share the world music element with such uh, educational um, organisation. Well, a new generation of yeah. serious musicians. serious musicians. In complo nitkelmu mal kopja vivaci Sara u Silas Palmer mil grupp The Royal Hijinks din id-darba dwar tour li jadom kem wetqu fil Germania. You've just come back from doing some gigs in Germany and yeah. um, one of the things that kind of um, I got thinking the other day was you know, how, how do you go from being doing festival circuits around uh, Australia and then to sort of get picked up to go to festivals overseas? How, do, how does that journey happen? Yeah, well, you, you, you do those festivals. And actually, that's that's actually what happened, was uh, we were playing at a, at a folk festival, and um, I'd known this particular band from Berlin for many years, and um, they're, they're called the Bees from Berlin, and they come over whenever it's winter over there, they come and then do their summer over So it's just to there. avoid winter, yeah? Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> so they came exactly over. Yeah. And, I, and I was saying, oh, I would love to come over one day, you know, it's, and um, Dieter from the B said, well, let's, let's make it happen. And she, she basically made it happen for us. She really did. We yeah. had 18 shows in 24 days, and three music festivals, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. which were amazing. Um, and this was our first international tour as, as the Royal Hijinks, so it was just really really special for us we just, oh it was amazing we want to go back can't yeah <laughs> i mean a lot of our friends have just gone over to the overseas and tour and then the result is they lose all their money and the band breaks up mm. so we yeah. were kind of going oh if we can sort of break even we we'll probably that would be nice. but we ended up just being an absolute hit in germany apparently for yeah. some reason they all want us back yeah, she was great. very lovely and just an incredible compliment cds and got all these great compliments from, yeah. Just, it was, yeah, it was, it was truly it was a bit amazing. beautiful over there, the people yeah. over there, so just so nice. loving and warm and hospitable and yeah. just, they, they truly appreciate music so, in Europe and that's the beautiful thing. So you want to get to Malta, that's yeah. the next one, yes. next goal, yes. Malta in July. Well, that, that was, that was going to be the, the, one of my questions was, you know, um, the style of music does have echoes of some traditional Maltese, uh, um, sort of uh, music in there. Have you kind of had a bit of a better look into some of that sort of stuff? Or you... Yeah, yeah. I, I really want to say yes, because <laughs> there, there's one that my, my dad sort of sort of plays on the accordion sometimes. And the tune goes, Amiro Garda, Amiro Garda, It's a beautiful, my dad yeah. plays it and sings it on the accordion. Yeah, we've done oh. so many family gatherings. Where yeah. it's his dad on the accordion. Us. He's on the accordion, you're on the fiddle, I'm on the piano. And we're all just the having a good time. The rest of the family are just singing. Singing along. And they're just spilling uh, their drinks. Yep. Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know, I guess um, one of the, one of the things that, that always intrigues me with musicians, especially when you're in in your genre of music, is um, you can't stay just doing what you're doing. So, where would you like to see? I guess what you do go over over the next few years. You know, like I know it's quite early in the journey with with you, the current band, but you know, where do you think you could go? What do you think you could do as musicians? Well, I think after our early Germany experiment just proved to be so amazing, we're probably going to try more places around Europe. Mm -hmm. um, seems like we, they'll get us. Um, we've kind of got a goal to really play some of the even bigger festivals. So this time we were playing festivals for like 4,000 odd people. But and those two festivals, may I add, yeah. were, were integrative, uh, integration sort of festivals, which was like the Paralympics oh, of, wow, awesome. that yeah. were amazing. of, of yeah. and so, um, you know, musicians, I guess, that were, you know, slightly handicapped and then, um, and able musicians all integrating t together and no, just, you know, we're yeah. all on the same playing I mean, field. And 
different to Australian festivals too, where Australian festivals are just band, 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 band. Yeah. Those are kind of a mix of bands arts and festivals. Kind of performance art. So they'd yeah. be kind of jugglers and it's it's really mm. hard to describe. They kind of mixed a lot of disciplines into creating just these beautiful things. Yeah, it was quite um, incredible. Different So yeah, that was great. We'd love to do more of those. Yeah. But yeah. Same token, it'd be great to do some festivals to more like 40,000 or 400,000 That would be That'd incredible. Be great. And involve the music, of course, as well. So, um, yeah, so keep we'd... writing yeah. new material. Uh, so where are, you, where are you at with the cycle of your, your writing at the moment? Are you about to release a CD? Have you released a CD? Yeah, yes. well, we, we, we did a local launch, I guess you could say, of our brand new album, which is called Gone, Gone, Gone. Yes. Yeah, which is, um, yeah, Perfectly this one. Perfectly placed there. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so it features all of us. Um, and, yeah, that's it's ten tracks, eight, eight our original songs, and two of them are our original instrumental tunes. Yeah. So we play both songs and instrumentals on that one. We have two CDs. Um, and we're so. really happy with both of them. It's, I mean, sometimes I've been in a lot of bands where you release a CD and you go, oh, it's pretty good, cool. <laughs> it's cold. But both of them are just like, oh, yeah, that's great. And it's great to have a CD that we're just really, really proud, proud of. of. Yeah. yeah. And the gigs can go, yes, buy this. Because it feels gonna, good to be yeah, able to share that. put it on in your car and you'll have a great time. That's yeah. it. So be if proud. anyone wants to find out more about you, where's the best place and where are you gigging in the future? What's coming up in Melbourne? Yeah, <laughs> so you can find us at... Uh, the Royal High Jinx, H I G H J I N X dot com. Uh, so that's our website. We're also on Facebook. And our gigs that are coming up are Kangaroo Valley, Kangaroo Valley Folk Festival in October, Flurio in Adelaide, that's in later October, and Bendigo Blues and Roots, which is in November. <laughs> Fuq dik in-nota allegra niġu fit min programmi uħorta Maltese Down Under. Fil-waqt li nirringrazzja li l-sponsors kolla ta' dan il-ħames taġun infakkar li l-kom telespettaturi li tistaw tam lu kuntat mana per metz tal email maltese tv at gmail.com jew inkella fuq il-pajna ta'na fuq Facebook. Jela Marlin, natikum appuntamenti uħorral palunġima fl-istesħin. Saħa! Maltese Down Under thanks the Malta Tourism Authority, Mayfield's Business Advisors, MPD Steak Kitchen, Maltese Pasitsi Bar and Restaurant, First National Balkan Associates, Maltese Original Pasitsi Company, Smartline and our bronze sponsors.